Biodiversity sustains all human life. Throughout our existence, diverse and healthy ecosystems have provided food, shelter, and medicine, protected us from the worst extremes of weather, served as the basis of our economies, and fulfilled our cultural needs. Sadly, we no longer live on a pristine planet. Centuries of rapid, human-induced environmental degradation have depleted Earth's once great bounty, and the pace of destruction is only accelerating. To guarantee our own survival, we must act now, and we must convince others to act. We must reach out to governments, corporations, and a wide range of other decision-makers. To reach out effectively, we must understand and address their needs by demonstrating the core value of biodiversity to sustaining human life. Key biodiversity areas are globally significant sites for conserving nature. Ongoing research has shown that the Alliance for Zero Extinction Sites, which are the highest priority KBAs, are extremely valuable in providing fresh water to people downstream. By protecting these places, we help maintain critical water services. Another key benefit of protecting KBAs is carbon storage. Tree growth requires drawing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. When forests are cleared, this stored carbon is released, contributing to global warming. Worldwide, deforestation is responsible for over 20% of the total carbon dioxide released each year. Case studies in Liberia, Madagascar, and the Philippines have shown that safeguarding KBAs would deliver large benefits for climate change mitigation. The KBAs in each of these countries holds more than 400 million tons of carbon. Carbon offsets could provide financing that would help make the conservation of many of these KBAs economically competitive with alternative land uses. Such funding would not only lead to biodiversity conservation, but would provide income directly to people who live in and around KBAs. While we can assign an economic value to many services, the myriad cultural benefits of biodiversity are priceless. At some level, the natural environment shapes the culture and identity of all human communities. Many species act as powerful cultural symbols, and many natural areas are sacred to particular cultures. For example, sacred groves in Ghana, India, Tanzania, and many other countries remain long after the rest of the rainforest has disappeared. Some sacred areas are completely off limits. For others, there are complex rules governing conduct. For instance, in New Caledonia, the Canucks do not allow fishing, hunting, littering, or even loud conversation within certain taboo areas. Further research into the overlap of sacred areas with KBAs could yield strategies through which to conserve both biological and cultural diversity. The very process of conserving KBAs can itself provide numerous direct benefits to human well-being. For instance, the formal conservation of KBAs as protected areas can provide employment directly, such as through new jobs as park rangers, and indirectly, such as through increased tourism. Also, conservation groups provide a range of financial incentives to communities so that they can safeguard KBAs. Such models can involve paying governments or landowners directly for the conservation of natural habitats. KBAs provide numerous benefits to people. It's time for the conservation community to work more closely with development organizations, governments, corporations, and others for the sake of both nature and people.